An Introduction to the Devout Life by St. Francis de Sales Book 1, Chapter 19 Concerning General Confession Having, then, gone through this course of meditation, approach with humility, yet confidently, to your general confession. But do not allow yourself to be perplexed with fears. The scorpion's bite is venomous, but from its substance is extracted a remedy which heals that very bite. So our sins are shameful when we commit them, but when they are turned to confession and penitence, they become good and healthy. Contrition and confession are so lovely and acceptable that they efface the stain and disperse the stench of sin. Simon the leper called Magdalene a sinner, but our Savior spoke not of her sins, but only of the precious ointment which she poured out, and of the fullness of her love. If we are truly humble, Philothea, we shall grieve bitterly over our sin, because it offends God. But we shall find sweetness in accusing ourselves, because in so doing we honor Him. And we shall find relief in fully revealing our complaints to our physician. When you are before your spiritual father, suppose yourself to be on Mount Calvary at the feet of the crucified Jesus, whose precious blood drops on you to purify your iniquities. For although it is no longer his very blood, nevertheless it is the virtue of his blood shedding, which so plentifully descends upon the penitent in the confessional. Do not hesitate, then, to open your heart fully in confession. For in proportion as your sins go forth, the precious merits of Christ's passion will come in and fill you with blessings. Speak simply and honestly, and thoroughly lighten your conscience, after which Give heed to the warnings and the directions of God's servant. And say in your heart, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. It is God himself who speaks to you, my daughter, inasmuch as he has said, He that hears you hears me. St. Luke chapter 10, verse 16. Then take the following protestation as a conclusion of your contrition, and, having previously studied it carefully, read it with attention and with as much feeling as you can. Continued in next chapter. <laughs>